Good afternoon. This is Pamela Bluewater for JS Biblical Productions. Today we are going to speak with David, the shepherd, son of Jesse, who just recently fought and killed the Philistine Goliath, the giant, and defeated the entire Philistine army. And we are going to find out what part the Lord God played in this. Welcome, David. Thank you. So, David, we have all heard about your remarkable battle with Goliath, the Philistine giant, and how you defeated him with a single slingshot to the forehead. Can you tell us uh, what fear you had, and if so, how God played a part in all of this? I had no fear. And there's a couple of reasons why. See, the Israelites and all the men of the army, they said, Goliath is so big, you can't possibly beat him. And they were right. He, he was big. He was six and a half cubits tall. Six and a half cubits? What does that mean? That is uh, from the elbow to the fingertips. In your measurements, that would be roughly 10 feet. But the way I looked at it was, he is so big, I can't possibly miss. Uh, but you had no fear? I knew that the Lord would be on my side from the very beginning. See, the Israelites took it from man's perspective. They said, who is this giant, this Philistine Goliath, who would defy all the ar armies of, of, the, of the living God? But I looked at it from God's perspective. I chose to concern myself with God's cause and put that before everything else, including my own personal safety. I see. But didn't this Goliath scare everybody? Yes, he, he taunted and mocked the, the Israelite army. He even insulted me personally. <laughs> he said, who am I, a dog that you come at with sticks? But you fought this giant single-handedly? No, I just said before the battle that it is not by the sword or the spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's. But you only had one slingshot with one stone in it. Yes, the King Saul did offer me armor to wear, but I was not used to that. So I removed it and went to the stream and gathered four stones. Of course, I had my sling, but I chose to wear the army of the Lord God of Israel instead. Okay, now is there any other reason you decided to take on this job? <laughs> well, I can't deny a lot of it had to do with the fact that King Saul offered me his daughter to marry if I did defeat the Goliath, and that also would mean no taxes for the rest of my life, no taxes for my family. I thought that was a pretty reasonable deal. Am I a dog that you come at with a stick? Come here so I can cut you up into little pieces. I'm going to feed some of you to the birds and the rest of you to the beasts in the field. You come at me with your sword and shield and armor, but I come at you in the name of the Lord God Almighty. I will cut off your head and feed your body to the carcasses of the land and the sea. And all will know that the Lord saves, and the battle is the Lord's, and he will deliver, deliver all of you into our hands. Come and get me! So then you did, and the rest is history. You knocked down Goliath with one stone from your slingshot to his forehead, and you cut off his head. Yes, I ran to him and stood beside him, cut off his head with his own sword, as you can see. <laughs> that looked pretty good there. Um, you see, we cannot mess around with sin and our own spiritual enemies. Sometimes it is necessary to kill them. I work for JNS and I was wondering what we can learn from this, how we can fight our enemies. Well, I will tell you what I've learned. When God is on our side, nothing can beat us unless it is our own fear from man's perspective. And there is no one more powerful than the God of Israel. But, but he was so big. 
That's right. That's why you can't miss him. So, um, by the way, uh, what's on the table? Oh, yes, I forgot. I brought a little souvenir to show you ladies today. Hope you're not too oh. squeamish, but it's this. <laughs> he should have quit while he is ahead. <clears throat> okay, well, um, he said it, Miss Sedgway. Uh, there is no one who has more strength than God in a battle. This is Pamela Bluewater for J&S Biblical Productions, leaving you with that thought. Good afternoon.